so guys in this video we're gonna be exploring another nigerian food spot okay and guess who's with me my sister <laughs> and i ordered this really cool drink that i really enjoyed and guys let's just say it's gonna be a juicy lunch and finally i ordered something else but we're gonna find out while watching stay tuned <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey guys, it's your girl Velma Williams. I'm so happy today because you'll believe who's out with me today. If I could bring my best friend out, Marianne, I can bring my sister out. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's dying, guys, but I don't care. So we're having like a sister day out today, and there's this place we wanted to check out while we run errands, and it's all the way in Surulere. Yes, guys. So we're going to eat some Nigerian food and we heard this place is good. So we're here to check it out, guys. So don't forget to subscribe. How could I forget that? Don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you're watching this right now, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment and share. You never know who is looking out for some cool places to eat in Lagos or anywhere I go. So come on, guys. Let's go. So I'm going in right now. I hear this place is basically focused on Ofada. Okay, it's called Ofada Boy. So let's see if it's worth all the hype I've been seeing on social media. the little details with the lights and it's a very chill outdoor sitting area with some little distractions nice so if you are Yoruba and you're watching this video just help me translate what's on the wall at the comment section <laughs> thank you so I'm actually like craving serious Nigerian food right now and obviously our father is on my list because my sister and I were actually very happy to be hanging out together because we don't do it all the time and she just said you know what she's craving our father like rice you know so let's go so we found here and here we are so now it's time to see if this is the our father king. So we decided not to sit outside because the weather was quite hot. So they also have an indoor sitting area. Yay! And it was so cold, so which is perfect for me. And good lighting too. Hey. Ofada sauce. Oh, can you have ofada ofada sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Very shy. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, can you have ofada sauce without um, uh, with white rice instead of ofada sauce? Is it possible? So here I am looking at the menu, trying to place my order. Obviously, it's a father rice we came to eat here because, I mean, that's what they're known for, right? So I'm feeling for something with seafood, so I think that's what I'm gonna go with a father with some seafood. The seafood was inside. They have shrimp, calamari, snail, crab. Where is it? Fresh cabbage. Yeah. Why do they turn like how long? So this is a really long waiting time, <laughs> like what the hell? <sighs> ah, but anyway, we're here, so we're gonna be good troopers. There's so many things on the menu and they have so many options and the prices aren't bad at all, funny enough. Yeah, not bad. So anyways, I went with the seafood of Father Rice and everything you see there is what they have. And my sister is going for the Ofada Kingdom, which has gizzard. So for drinks, if you look on my right side, you will see that that's like a jar for like plenty people. And on the other side are for singles. Hey! 
So for drinks, I actually went with the cocoa palm and that's palm wine with coconut. Yes, and my sister went simple with strawberry daiquiri. Boo. <laughs> so while we were waiting for our food, I mean, for like 40 minutes, right? We decided to actually go take pictures. Basically that. So guys, here is my food. So here in the seafood, you have shrimps, you have a crab, you have snail and fish. And here's my plantain, a father rice and a father swass, okay? And for my sister, that's her gizzard with a father sauce and a father rice with her plantain. <laughs> so guys, it's about to go down. Look at that fish tail. I'm not a fish person though, so I'm not touching that. <laughs> So I find it cute. They actually wrapped the cutlery in a leaf. Quite, you know, different. I like it. So now I'm about to taste the Afada rice. Let's see. could i forget I need to throw some shrimp in there like what's the point of the seafood you're not gonna eat it <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> the pepper hits hard uh, yeah i think just for the first bite got me there so my sister already took her first bite and she coughed like me too i think it throws like it throws off like we're unaware but i'm about to ask her what she thinks about it it's okay there you go it's okay <laughs> so that's my sauce still going in you know, I've tasted so many of Father Rice, and this one, I would say it's okay. It's not like, oh my god, like, whoa. <laughs> but it's it's okay. It's nice, you know. I, it's something you can eat and enjoy. So my sister's drink came her strawberry daiquiris now me and my sister we are foodies okay so i take her opinion very seriously well she's enjoying the drink because you can see she's going in for more without even answering me <laughs> so i guess that's a good sign i'm just here focused on trying to eat as much seafood <laughs> with my rice and sauce so guys okay yeah yeah that's my sister being silly as usual and i'm ignoring her as usual <laughs> but anyway this food is actually very filling really filling and there she goes again with her hands <laughs> now you guys will actually know she's my baby sister mm-hmm love snail like me i love snail <laughs> i just had to take a bite of it i like it it wasn't hard it wasn't too soft it had a little crunch to it so which was good so guys my drink is finally here i've never tasted palm wine with coconut so let's see it's looking good though <laughs> and i love the presentation Mmm. It's actually better than I expected. Not bad at all. Okay. 
Okay, now I found something I actually really like in your combo. Coconut and palm wine. <laughs> so this is the damage that we've done. You can see my foot is done. My sister actually is saving this to take home. But the strawberry daiquiri didn't make it. <laughs> so that's my seafood. I'm taking it home to mix with other dishes. And that's my coconut drink, which I will be focusing on. So anyway, I'm here waiting for the other meal I ordered, guys. I wanted to try out something else. And apparently, it's going to take an hour to make. So I'm here waiting. I'm a little bit stressed out about it. Because everything is freshly made. So to while away time, I was knocking down my coconut and... <laughs> <laughs> palm wine and also just to meet my sister and also biting down on the coconuts I love coconuts who here drinks coconut water just write it down in the comment section let me say hi So anyway, I wanted this displayed, but unfortunately they packed it in a takeaway bag, but I said no. I have to show you guys what I ordered and what I wanted to eat here, but it's fine. I'm still going to take it home anyways. So I saw this peppered turkey with some plantain, corn, sweet potato, and yam. Guys, doesn't this look so good? Mm. Mm -mm. Well, I'm actually kind of happy that they packed it because I'm kind of full but obviously by the time I get home I'm going to share it with Mr. Williams and the kids so <laughs> obviously I had to taste it <laughs> you know me always got to know what I'm working with that sauce has pepper guys it has serious pepper but it tastes good mm -hmm. quite happy to take this home so guys, the question is, does it have the Vemmel approval? I will say yes, it does. So here's why. First of all, they really have good service. The waiters were really nice. They alternated. Though. There were two that were actually focusing on our table, which was really nice. And, you know, they were very honest with the waiting, you know, minutes and stuff. There was no line. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, as far as the food, the food is okay. You know, I mean, I've eaten so many of Father Rice, so I would say it's okay. But, like, anybody else could go there and have a different opinion. This is just my own personal opinion. As far as pricing goes, I would say their pricing isn't bad. It's quite decent. You can actually spend, I think, 8000 here and you eat well. Yeah, because your meal is very filling. You eat well, you know. And the indoors, good music, good vibe. There's a TV there if you just want to watch something. And it's quite cold. If you want the outdoor feeling too, there's a fan. So you're not really left out. Yeah, I think that's basically everything. As far as parking, not really much parking space. You have to kind of like find your way. But yeah, just... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's just it. So... Anyways, thanks guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So don't forget to subscribe, share. It's your girl.